We have to start with the vision of Violet T. Lewis. In the midst of the Great Depression, she founded a college designed for black women seeking secretary skills. It's early graduates landing jobs at places like Ford, General Motors, and Michigan Bell. Her vision was a reality. The first blacks you find in most of the major corporations in this area came from Lewis College of Business. That's Violet Ponders sitting next to her sister, Stephanie. To them, Violet Temple Harrison Lewis wore many hats, not just those of educator and businesswoman. She was our grandmother. With a $50 loan, a determined young Lewis bought several used typewriters and started the Lewis Business College in Indiana. Then, just before 1940, she opened a Detroit branch. The Motor City is where the Lewis College of Business would really take off, seeing thousands of graduates over the years, both men and women. You just didn't learn how to type and do shorthand. She taught you etiquette. She taught you how to answer the phone. I think Stephanie and I both learned to answer a phone in a business type format when we were children. Their grandmother gave students a well-rounded education, which often included business travel. Lewis also co-founded the Gamma Phi Delta sorority. Keeping Violet Lewis's vision in focus is important to the school's new president, Dr. Dwayne Edwards, who last fall, with the help of the Gilbert Family Foundation, announced he'd be reopening the school, which closed in 2013. As a successful shoe designer, he founded Pencil Footwear Design Academy in Portland. Now, he hopes to fill what he sees as a gap in Detroit's creative industry, black talent. Marrying her history with our small brief history and then solving a massive need for corporations as it pertains to product design. His vision is very similar to our grandmother's, and that's what's so Violet, myself, and Shirley, my sister. Um, he believes in excellence. Product and industrial design will be the focus of the Pencil Lewis College of Business and Design, Michigan's only HBCU. Come May, the school will share space with the College of Creative Studies and New Center before its own facility is finished. Its first students will get a free five-week master class with Carhartt, whose designers helped create the curriculum. And the school has lined up partnerships with eight other companies, including Procter & Gamble, Wolverine, and Nike. I think it gives them another talent pool to pull from that's homegrown. To make sure Lewis's legacy is never far from thought, Edwards says she'll even be reflected in the school's new colors, shades of violet. She had this, this gift of making people think they could do the impossible, which for her was not impossible, it was possible. Enrollment for that first five-week course opens February 8th. Next week, we sit down with former Lewis faculty and alumni what it's like for them to see this legacy reimagined. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Jen Schantz for 7 Action News.